So Buddhism is the fourth largest religion with over 520 million followers. And it focuses on ending, quote-unquote, the cycle of reincarnation and finding enlightenment. According to a 2015 consensus, there are around 47,000 practicing Buddhists in the Philippines. So um, based on the number alone, para siyang marami, pero actually it's very little, lalo na pag natin sa 111 million na total population ng Pilipinas no? na mm-hmm. um, uh, estimate. So Buddhists clearly are a religious minority in a predominantly Christian country, which is the Philippines. So I thought, no, naisip kong mag-try ng bagong format. So welcome to God Talk. And I have, I am joined by one of my kindest and one of my chillest college <laughs> friends. Now, he's a Buddhist, a graduate of PS Biology, and if, and if I'm not mistaken, nagtitake siya ngayon ng, ng masters. I have with me Ricky Castillo. Yay! Hello, Ricky. <laughs> hey, thank you for having me. Thank you for having me sa podcast. No? <laughs> Actually, tinanong ko si Goobs. Tinanong ko si, si Paul. Sabi ko, nag, tinanong ko kung nagmamasters ka pa ba? Kasi hindi ako sure. Ang huli kong balita sa'yo, nagmamasters ka. So, yun. Yun yung uh, unang tanong. Nagmamasters na... ka ba? Ngayon hindi, hindi ako, like, nag-stop ko na ako kasi, you know, uh, financial, ano, problems ngayon, especially ngayon ending pandemic, so nag-stop, oh. may kinag-stop din muna talaga ako. So, hanap mo na ako work. Di ba, sabi ko uh-huh. kanina, in-introduce kita as one of my chillest friends. So, naniniwala ka bang chill ka na tao? Do you, do you agree with that description? Nakikita mo ba yung sarili mo na, na medyo relax or ano? Well, Hindi ko masabing chill ako, pero <laughs> kasi I do uh, fear the pressure a lot of times then Especially, you know, for example, sa work, kahit sa work, dati na vice chairperson ako sa finance. Oo, oh. oh, lalo na yun. So, <laughs> na, na, feel, na feel ko rin ta- talaga yung uh, pressure kapag mayroon ko talaga responsibilities. Pero sy- syempre, I do take my own pace when it comes to doing things. Which is which could be a double-edged sword. Like for me, uh, okay siya kasi nakapag-rest ako. Pero pangit din kapag ka masyado kang mabagal tapos pero kang responsibilities yeah. na yung ginagawa. So that, ha- that has happened with me then, Especially if may mga other factors like family problems, ganun, or financial problems na iniisip mo while doing your stuff. So yeah. yun lang yung masama. Pero kasi so, nung, nung nasa college tayo, as org mates. Parang hindi kita na perceive na si Ricky parang hirap na hirap. Parang parang hindi ka na stress you know? At least that's how I see you. Na parang I <laughs> I aspire for that kind of chillness or pagiging lax mo. So, ang next question ko ay yung yung ganung classing demeanor mo ba ay ay effect ng personality mo lang or may kinalaman ba yung pagiging Buddhist mo sa pagiging um um what I what, ako, what I perceive as your chillness? Uh, that really depends. So, kasi sa, ako kasi, I was born as a Buddhist. Like, mm-hmm. yung, yung father ko, siya yung unang nagpo-convert. I mean, actually, yung grandmother and grandfather ko, nagpo-convert yung sila, yung family nila. My father was five back then. So, essentially, nung nag-meet si, si papa and si mama, uh, Si mama eventually nagpa-convert. So, pagka panganak sa akin, Buddhist na ako. Mm-hmm. With that said, I would say it did play a role uh, sa pagiging uh, chill or maybe perceived as chillness for me. Mm-hmm. Because I, I can definitely say na medyo I always think about things that I do or say before I do or say them. Mm-hmm. Which Again, pwede rin masama kasi masyadong matagal if I overthink about stuff or over and overthink about what I say, overthink about what I do, pwede ma-miss ko yung opportunity or wala, magiging masyado kang mabagal. So yeah, yung pagiging Buddhist ko, yes, kasi we are taught na uh, when it comes to everything, you have to uh, take into take into into action kung ano yung mga maaring maging effect nito sa iyo, sa sarili mo at sa ibang tao. So, medyo sa Buddhism, mayroon kasi kaming parang, uh, what do you call this, kinuha din naman yung concept ng Confucianism, yung golden hmm. rule. 
Mm-hmm. I think yung Golden Rule kasi medyo in-adopt siya ng maraming religions. Yeah. Eh. yeah. So, Buddhism meron din ganun. And it's one of the large, I mean, a big tenant sa Buddhism din. At least in our, like in my, my particular sect in Buddhism. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yes, it, it did play away. And also, kung ano rin yung upbringing ko. Uh, kung paano ako pinalaki ng aking family. Nung, nung nasa ABM ka, working as vice chair yes. and kahit hindi nung hindi ka pa nung vice chair did, did it really help to to manage the stress would you go as far as to say na you were effectively able to manage your stress partly or wholly because of your religion or kahit partly lang uh definitely like prior to prior to the uh, to joining the org i can really say na medyo mahihiyain ako introverted Hmm. And by that time din kasi uh, nung nag-college ako, nag-apply ako sa ABM, uh, of course, I'm going older. So sa religion namin, usually, para nagkakaroon ka ng larger part sa organization nyo. Yung natitawag na SGI or Soka Gaka International. So mm-hmm. meron may, siyang mga uh, yung call this, uh, branches sa iba't ibang bansa. So there's SGI Philippines where may mga division, like men's division, women's division, parang youth division. So eventually, nung uh, tumatanda ako, naging part rin ako ng uh, youth division, mas naging active. In the same way, uh, na-join ako sa ABM, so nagkataon sila na naging active ako parehas. So I, ha- I had to, like for example, present uh, stuff sa ABM. Meron din ako mga part na nagpapresent ako about naman sa mga let's say, Buddhist values na ituturo mo sa ibang tao. Mm. So, oo, uh, nakatulong din talaga yung pagiging, uh, yung pagiging Buddhist ko sa, sa organization. I mean, the, to the way how I conducted myself in the organization. So, alam ko may, may kapatid ka. Ilan kayo magkapatid? Dalawa ba kayo or tatlo? Uh, dalawa. Dalawa. Buddhist rin yung, yung sister mo? Oo. Uh, yeah, because I see. essentially we're uh, born into Buddhism. Oh, I, I see. So I, I think at this point, siguro para sa mga hindi nakakaalam kung ano yung Buddhism or how it started, parang gusto ko lang ibigay yung pagkakaintindi ko, how yes. it began. So kukwento ko, and then after, kung may inconsistencies or may gusto kong i-clarify or i-dagdag, sabihin mo, <laughs> tama ba? Okay, okay, Ben? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so from what I understand... It started with uh, Siddhartha Gautama more than 2,500 years ago in India. Kasi many people think na ah, Buddhist, Chinese, ganun. Pero hindi, it actually started in India. Tapos kumalat lang talaga siya sa China. Pero Siddhartha ay isang Indian prince. Tapos may, may wise man na nagsabi dun sa tatay ni Siddhartha, yung anak mo but either magiging parang emperor siya or magiging spiritual leader siya pero may yes. spiritual leader siya kapag like nakalabas siya sa palace parang ganun so ang ginawa ng tatay niya ay kinulong siya hindi naman kinulong na like kulong jail ganun parang tinrap lang siya hindi lang siya pwedeng lumabas sa labas ng palace um, pero one day nagkaroon ng interest si Siddhartha so lumabas siya kasi may nakita siyang tatlong tao tama so far Yes, may nakita siyang isang matanda, isang may sakit, tapos isang, well, patay na na tao. Tapos doon na-realize ni Siddhartha na ang buhay ay puno ng suffering or in Filipino, pagdurusa. So, naglakbay-lakbay siya, naging monk siya, nag-fast, tapos nag-meditate siya under a fig tree. Fig tree ba? Tama ba yun? So, yes. yung tinatawag na body bow, tree. Bow tree ata, bow tree. Si, the tree. Uh, may uh, may living descendant daw yung tree na yun eh, until this day. Like, tama ba? I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, okay. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Tapos for 49 days daw siya nag-meditate mm-hmm. in order to eventually attain enlightenment. So yung term na Buddha is, it means the enlightened one. So hindi siya yung actual pangalan ni, ni Buddha. Yes. Mismo. Okay. So, so far, yun yung, yung pagkakalang ko ng origin. So tama ba or... May inconsistencies or may gusto ko ay dagdag? Okay. Uh, honestly, sa particular sect namin, since yung particular sect ko ng Buddhism is uh, Nichiren Buddhism, it originated mm-hmm. from Japan. Mm-hmm. So, 
when it comes to Dichen, I, I mean to Gautama, Siddhartha Gautama Buddha, we don't usually talk about his life like a uh, we don't really study his life in uh. particular. So, yung magiging understanding ko about his life is on my own uh, research. Yes, yes. So, what I know is that si, si, si Siddhartha Gautama is yung buhay niya is basically na-observe niya kasi yung para injustices ng caste system nung yeah. time nung sa India. Uh-huh. Um, about sa, I think, I, I'm not sure, pero I think yung sa, it's a, it's a basically a, a product of Hinduism. I'm yep, not sure. Yep. Well, y- yes. Um, kasi yung caste system, di ba, may level siya. Uh, Kshatriyas, Vishatriyas, they're based din sa paniniwala nila sa Hinduism. Uh, no? So basically, parang hindi, hindi niya na hindi, hindi niya naintindihan kung bakit bakit ni mga mahira, bakit ni mm. mga to. Yeah, so also I, I'm not very sure if he's really a prince or what well, or he's just basically born into or like a really uh uh rich aristocratic family uh, or, yeah or so I'm not really sure if he's an actual like a, a heir to so, to like a king or something. But uh, yun yun yung alam ko is yung si 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 Siddhartha Gautam is na, na kilala niya ng injustice na ng uh, caste system. Tapos to the 12th mga uh, 1250s ganun, 1270s. So si Nietzsche ren kasi mayroon bang natin tawag na sutras which are records of oral teachings ni ni Buddha and a lot of East Asian Buddhists, I uh, Buddhism sects I uh, feel like uh, this particular sutra called the Lotus Sutra is like the the final teaching, the most important teaching ni ni, ni si Siddhartha Gautama Buddha. So basically, yun yung inadapt ng a lot of East Asian Buddhists like my current uh, religion, which is Nichiren Buddhism. Yeah. Ayun, so... Yung, regarding kung, kung yung mga three... Uh, uh, how many days siya nag-fast uh-huh. ba or nag-pray under that? So, I'm not very sure regarding that. Okay. I've always been fascinated. Alam mo ba yung itsura ng yung, yung icon? Yung parang statue ng fat Buddha or yung laughing Buddha? Yeah. Alam mo yun? Yes. yes. Yeah, diba? It's very, it's very common. Um, yes, it is. In China, kahit sa Pilipinas. So, ang question ko dyan, kasi kung nag-fast siya, it doesn't matter kung <laughs> gano'n siya katagal nag-fast, pero most Buddhists would agree, matagal siya nag-fast, di ba? So, kung nag-fast siya, um, parang nagtataka ako, bakit kailangan siya i-depict as mataba? The way I see it, it could have been like cultural appropriation nung dumating sa China yung yung religion. Pero I'm not Buddhist, so hindi ko siya kayang i-conclude to that. Parang idea ko lang yun. So, as a Buddhist, how do you feel whenever you see kung yung itsura ng fat Buddha or yung laughing Buddha? Or kung ano yung thoughts mo about it? Well, the thing is, uh, that particular image is not Siddhartha Gautama. So, mm-hmm. hindi, hindi si Siddhartha Gautama yung si fat Buddha. Yeah. I think he's, he's, I think he's more like a Buddhist monk. Like he's a Buddhist monk. So maybe he likes to laugh and he's like an iconic uh, figure in Chinese Buddhism. Pero I don't think I don't think it's Siddhartha Gautama and I'm not particularly sure why na kumalat na siya sa si Siddhartha mm. Gautama to begin with. I think kasi yun yung parang mga nakikita images sa mga movies yeah. ganun, mga yung usual na icons. Uh, <laughs> so so yun, hindi siya si, hindi siya si, si Siddhartha Gautama, pero yeah, he's most likely a Buddhist monk in China. For now, um, we, we, we're going to talk about your personal experiences belonging to a religious minority uh, in the Philippines. So, nung, nung, nung bata ka pa, what was your very first memory? Or kahit hindi yung very first, no? May naalala ka bang memories when you were younger na tinuturo sa household niyo yung Buddhist beliefs or ideas? Like, nag-travel ba kayo sa Buddhist shrines? Ganun. Well, I guess, yung experiences ko now, as in yung pagpunta sa mga uh, discussion meetings, is quite the same as when I, what happened when I was younger. Mm-hmm. Siguro, sa particular kasi namin na sect, which is Nichiren Buddhism, uh, 
merong tinatawag na SGI, di ba? Like I oh, said yeah. a while ago. So SGI mm-hmm. is like an, an an organization. And basically, yung organization na yun ay gumagawa din ng mga events, ganun, mga meetings, like in different parts of the country. So may mga discussion meetings, may mga meetings na hinihild yung women's division, may mga tree planning activities. So iba't ibang passing events. And in one, when I was, uh, I think, mga 10 years old, Mm-hmm. Ayan atang parang uh, international event na, na nagaganap like, you know, like yearly. Tapos naalala ko lang na, na para siyang festival at maraming mga performances, ganun. So yun, like, would I say na may na- nagbago ba from back then to now? Wala naman. Naging masan- tumanda lang siguro ko at siguro yung participation ko. Yung besides na nakikinig. Ngayon, nagtuturo na rin ako minsan. Yan. So, yun. Yun ang siguro yung pinagkaiba. At nagtuturo ka rin minsan? Like, kentong klaseng discussion online? Or? Yeah. Like, during this pandemic, mm. like, mayroon akong mga like, explaining the, go- the Gosho. The Gosho is basically a part of no, I mean, the Gosho is like a Uh, compilation siya ng mga sinunod ng Nichiren. Nichiren is yung founder ng Nichiren Buddhism. Mm-hmm. Diba? So, eh, for example, may mga excerpts sa Gosho, like for this particular month na i-describe namin uh, to our to our members tapos i-explain namin, o oh, anong ibig sabihin nito, ano yung pwedeng mating makuha from here, ano yung pwedeng nating makuha ang aral, paano mo ma-apply sa sarili ng buhay, gano'n. Mm-hmm. Yun, so usually parang value uh, mga ano yung mga values talaga yung mga pwede namin makuha from from that as a Filipino and as a and as a person from the modern century I mean on the modern era kasi syempre dati pa niya yung sinunod yeah, eh, so, yeah. yeah that sounds good yeah. interesting so was there ever um, a memory or an instance na when you were younger na na-realize mo na, ah, iba pala yung religion ko from most of my peers. Or at least kung if you were like involved in another group, let's say, sa school na hindi mo kapareho yung um, religion ng mga classmates or friends mo. Was there ever an instance that you clearly remember the very first time na, ah, I I kind of feel different. Nagkaroon ba ng ganung time? or Definitely, definitely. Simula pa lang actually nung prep prep kasi oh, nung prep. ano kasi yes prep. Yeah, uh, kasi mga ilang parang nag nagtata siguro mga 3 4 ganun. Mm-hmm. And then nagtataka nagtataka lang ako kung bakit oh eh, hindi ko alam yung mga dinadasal nila para mm. ma-ilan ng father. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then uh, so Joshua sure if pwedeng isabitin niya sorry. Hindi okay pero, lang. It's it's fine. <laughs> pero yun, so, hindi naman sa hindi ko naintindihan, pero more on like, bakit iba yung dinarasal nila? Mm-hmm. Parang ganun. So, bakit parang ibang iba, I mean. Mm-hmm. And then also, tumanda ako, hindi na ako sumasali dun sa mga kumpisa at tama ba? Kum- yeah, yeah. Communion, communion. Oh, oh. Like, like, an entire class is pupunta sa church, and then ako yeah. may iwan ako sa classroom. Oh. <laughs> so, like, one entire to two periods ng worth of class, nasa school lang ako. Ganun. So, pag, so, nung bata ko, parang in, sa mga interest and interest ko ako, ano pa nangyayari sa ginagawa niyo? Ganun? And then sometimes, like, a lot of traditions din. Uh, for example, ng Ash Wednesday, so, mm. nagpapagano sila. Yeah. So, interested din ako, ano ba lasa ng Ostia? Ganun. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yung mga things na, alam ko, okay, ibang-iba talaga yung religion ko, wala kaming ganun. Wala kaming uh. mga bagay na, gan- na pinagabawal or or in observe na ganun yung mga rituals which is which was interesting yeah uh, in my part then mm. so yung yung sige bibigyan kita ng idea kung ano yung lasa ng Austria ano siya alam mo okay. super thin <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> super thin na brand siya ng tinapay ah uh, i think so parang parang familiar diba so uh-huh. may may super thin na parang milk ba yon tapos may super thin na chocolate uh-huh. So, so ganun lang siya kanipes, pero isipin mo, wala siyang lasa. So, tinapay Every lang siya. texture niya, same. Brittle? How do I describe? Parang, 
tama ba i-describe o siya as crunchy? Brittle siya, para siyang para siyang glass. Paper. Hindi, ang paper na nagugusot eh. Hindi siya nagugusot, nagbe-break uh-huh. siya, nagbe-break siya. Mm. Nagbe-break siya. Tapos pagbasa siya, <laughs> tinapay, basically. Tinapay na matigas. Uh-huh. Eh, eh. Tapos wala siyang lasa. Okay. Tapos mm-hmm. yung, yung sa experiences mo na din-describe mo before, kunwari nung nagtataka ka, bakit iba yung ginagawa mm-hmm. ng mga ng classmates or friends mo. Did you ever ask, did you ever ask your parents or or nagtanong ka ba sa matanda kung ano yung bakit may pagkakaiba sa experiences mo nung bata ka pa? Uh, I did. Mm-hmm. And actually, dati, dati pa rin naman, like, I didn't expect may yung mga elderlies na bullies din na mm. alam, alam nila yung sagot kaagad kasi yeah. they're not really yung mga leaders talaga na nagtuturo. So, nung tinanong ko, ah, kasi nag, nagdarasal sila sa Diyos, ganun tayo, hindi. Mm-hmm. Like, so, parang sa kanila mayroong uh, langit at lupa, sa atin talaga wala. Ganun. Mm-hmm. So, Iba yung dinadala sila kasi nila. So, iba rin yung dinadala sila natin. So, so mga, parang yung mga ganun yung mga explanation yeah, nila sa akin. Kailangan i-explain kasi, syempre, bata, uh-huh. di ba? Curious, ganun. Uh-huh. So, mga anong age kanya to nung kailangan i-explain yung ibang pananaw sa'yo? Uh, what, what, what do you mean? Like, anong uh-huh. age ka nung, nung humingi ka ng explanation or nung in-explain sa'yo kung bakit, kung paano yung paniniwala ng ibang tao sa paligid mo? Well, the thing is, medyo bata, medyo, medyo bata, bata pa lang ako. Oh, okay. Curious na kasi ako na tao. Like, hmm. especially sa religion. Yeah. Like, not just Buddhism, not just Christianity, nag-aaral din ako minsan about sa other religion. Hindi, hindi dahil parang interested ako in a sense na gusto kong magpa-convert. Yeah. Pero, like, interesting lang yung mga concepts ko, kung ano ba yung mga pininiwalaan nila. Yeah. I feel Tapos, the same exact way. As in, ganyan na ganyan din yung <laughs> naiisip ko. Tsaka na. Oo, oh, diba? Parang, diba? Oh, like for example, yung, yung mga large gatherings, like for example, uh, yung sa, pis- sa pista ng Nazareno, parang to think na ang dami-daming tao na talagang mm. ano, gusto ang pumunta. Yeah. So, bata pa lang ako, gusto ko na talagang mag-aal about that. So, hindi ako talagang nagtanong um, to other people. More on, nag-search ako like sa internet, gano'n, watch mm. uh, YouTube videos. Uh, so, so yun yung parang mode ko para okay. mag-aasin at information. Sa Catholic school ka ba nag-aral or yung school mo lang ay no. involved din sa religious min- activities minsan? Kaya hindi ka kasama dun sa mga Catholic. No, um, like a uh, public school kasi ah. yung, yung ako nag-elementary. Uh-uh. So, so tas sadyang, tas malapit pa yun sa, ano, sa, sa, sa church. So if okay. ever may mga ganun, communion. So sinasabay na yung buong class. Mm. So... Ayun, I was going to ask, kasi medyo mabigat na term gamitin yung ma-ostracize or ma-exclude, but would you go yes. as far as to say na you feel excluded or feeling mo ganun lang talaga, ganun naman talaga, or how would you, how would you describe that, that experience going back, no, when you think about it now? Well, I wouldn't say ostracize kasi mm. back then, parang choice ko na hindi sumali. Yeah. Yeah. Kasi nga, I feel na, ay, hindi, wala naman akong gagawin. So, hindi nila akong sasali, ganun. Pero, if I think about of it now, I would have, ano, like, join, like, just to observe. Hindi kasi talaga ako yeah. parang sumali. Parang mag-observe. So, I was, I never felt na ayaw akong pasalihin. Like, usually, niyatang din naman ako ng teacher ko, Oh, gusto mo mo sa mali, ganun. Ay, mm. ay ma'am, kahit hindi na po, kahit dito-dito na lang po ako. Mm. So, anong anong usual reaction ng mga tao kapag nalaman nilang um, you belong to a, what I would say, a religious minority? Um, interestingly, makiba yung reaction ng mga tao back when I was, uh, back when I was younger to, to now. Like, yung mm. nung younger talaga ako, uh, usually parang when they, when they when they learn that I'm a Buddhist parang kaya tanong nila ay yung ba yung nadarasal ka nga dun sa Budai yung figure <laughs> yeah. uh, so akala nila yun si Budai ay siya ba yun siya ba yung nadarasalan mm. yun <laughs> and siya sabi ay hindi 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 naman yung siya nadarasalan and 
And kahit hindi man siya si Buddha, hindi rin kasi namin dinadasalan si Buddha. Like, yeah. in a particular sect sa Buddhism, we don't revere Buddha as like a god or something. Yeah. Or he's more like a teacher than yeah. si Buddha. As, as nung uh, like college naman or oh, and older, usually nag-aano lang sila, nasyashock lang sila, uy, mayroon pa lang uh, mga Buddha. So, nagtatanong lang sila, oh, saan kayo nagdadasal? Mayroon ba kayong parang church? Mayroon ba kayong para mga ritual, mga bawal ba kayong kumain ng ganito, ganyan. Mm. Yun, paano kayo? Kapag Christmas, nakikikristmas ba kayo? So, yung mga ganun lang yung usually yung tanong nila. Yeah. Um, paano ko ba nalaman ng Buddhist kami? May nagsabi sa akin sa org. May nagsabi mm. sa akin sa, sa, sa ABM na, ah, si Ricky Buddhist din eh. Tapos, nagulat ako kasi parang, ato ba? Hindi ko i-expect na may may encounter akong Buddhist sa UB. <laughs> It, it sounds well, bad, but it shouldn't. Parang, siguro, hindi lang ganun ka-open yung mind ko. Pero hindi naman ako shocked <laughs> oh, yeah. to the point na offensive siya. Hindi, na parang, ah, okay, interesting. Ganun lang. The, the thing is, is, I feel like uh, Buddhists are, in the Philippines, are very rare rin. Like, of course, mm-hmm. ako nakakita ko na medyo madami na, na Buddhist kasi nga, Buddhist ako, may mga gatherings yeah. kami. Yeah. Pero, in the in, if you if you based on the population parang sobrang maunti din talaga kami yeah like ang alam ko sa statistics namin like around 10,000 to 11,000 families lang mm. yung Buddhist dito sa yung at least niche and Buddhist dito sa yeah. Pilipinas so when and also i think yung kaya man nalaman kasi may mga yung mga mem commission yung tatanong sila oh tell me a sec- like a uh, something interesting about you uh so, hindi ka pa naman memcom, di ba? Hindi pa ako memcom naging, nung pumasok. Naging eh. memcom ka, oo. So, uh, after na. Oo, uh, and after. So, yun. Eh, syempre, nandunan tayo doon sa old tambayan. Yeah. So, parang madaling kumalat. Ang daling ng ano. Uy, Buddhist to. Ganyan. Buddhist, mm. Buddhist pala sa Ricky. Ganyan. Yun. Tapos, lagi na ako tinatanong din dati ng mga, ng mga ano, members. Oh, kamusta? Pwede ba kayo ng ganyan? Ganyan sa kayo nagdadasal? Uh, may mga, meron ba kayang dialog sila na ano na revolt or something. Mm. So bibigyan ko lang ng context sa galit yung mga hindi taga UP na possible na makinig dito kasi okay. kami ni kami ni Ricky galing kami ni Ricky from the same org, like student organization, yes. UP Association of Biology Majors. Kasi bi- biology major ako dati. Tapos doon ko siya na meet. So <laughs> yun lang yun, yun yung sinasabi ng mga org. So very common yung mis- gusto sabihin mo ba na very common yung misconception na ah, kapag Buddhist ang dadasal kay Buddha kasi obviously honestly wala akong narinig na sect ng ng Buddhist na nagdadasal directly kay Buddha as if Buddha was God himself parang hmm. is it a common misconception would you say that well you see I wouldn't say na very versed ako when it comes to what other Buddhist mm-hmm. or other types of Buddhism uh, teach Hmm. What I know is that there are two like a major halves of Buddhism. Yeah. Merong mga nag uh, revere sa kanya as like uh, a god, I think I believe. Ah, so meron din. I'm, I'm, I believe. Okay, okay. Pero hindi ko ma-confirm kasi nga I'm not yeah. an expert. So I, I, hmm. I and hindi naman ako wala naman ako doon. So hindi ko pwedeng sabihin na that's what they teach. So you know so meron din mga Buddhist like our sect na we believe him as a as a teacher. He basically who uh, with his teachings, na pwede namin i-apply sa buhay namin. Mm. So I don't think na yung misconception na yun is bad or offensive in a way, mm-hmm. especially in our country. Kasi ano tayo theistic country. Uh, yeah. We believe in. I mean, the majority of the Filipinos believe na may God. So that, whether that's Allah or our, you know, si Jos Ama, I don't know, yeah. God the Father, yeah. Or Jos so, Ina, sa case ng yeah, yeah. <laughs> so or Rizal, ayun. or Rizal, <laughs> or Rizal, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think most religions, kasi they come with uh, prohibitions or yung mga hindi dapat ginagawa or bawal gawin. Meron bang certain prohibitions when it comes with Buddhism? Ah. Uh, or kahit within your sect of of Buddhism, may may mga bawal ba kayong gawin or yung ganun? Well, if you would 
say na to, to the level na bawal kumain ng pork. Mga ah, ganun. Yung equivalent ng ganun. Wala, wala. Wala, wala. wala kaming mga ganun. Siguro, syempre, the common thing is yung bawal, huwag kang pumatay, ganun. Yeah, yeah. Do bad to other people. Pero, wala kaming talaga ng mga bawal. Like, bawal, hmm. bawal kumain ng ganito. Walang ganun. Oh, wala, wala kami. Or bawal, bawal magsuot ng ganito. Walang ganun. Wala, wala. When, when I shifted to philosophy, yes. may mga parang electives kami na take like extra subjects na philo pa rin. And one of the classes I took ay philosophy of religion. One of the topics we discuss in that class is how do you define a religion? So, paano mo ba siya? Uh, actually, hindi siya philosophy of religion. For me, mas malapit na siya sa religious studies. Pero how do you define a religion? And is Buddhism an actual religion? Kasi most people, when they think about a religion, ang unang iisip sa kanila ay, ang unang nilang may isip ay about God or the beginning of yes. the universe, the end of the universe. Pero Buddhism doesn't concern itself with those concerns, di ba? Parang yeah. kung, kung may just man or wala, parang it's beyond what it's, it's, Buddhism it's, it's cares about. It's not really about. relevant, di ba? Yeah, exactly. Um, who created the world, hindi naman siya relevant talaga. Mm, like in siya, our current state. Di ba? Um, so, ayun, isa sa questions na tinakal namin ay, is Buddhism a religion? Uh, nung nung nag-start yung class, I thought, of course, it's a religion. Pero as habang hinihimay namin yung yung definition ng religion, parang, of course, Buddhism is a religion, pero ang understanding ko of it is, it's very different from many other religions or yung usual religions na nakikita mo. Would mm. you agree with that na it's not, it's it's different from most, most, um, most common or Um, your usual na religion ng mga tao. Would you agree with that statement? Well, kasi it comes to your definition of religion. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you think of it as believing on, on like an ex, extra like a mystical power that yeah, is an entity, outside a great entity, you? Yeah. Entity that controls uh, everything that happens in our daily lives. So, In a way, like, di ba sabi ko sa'yo kanina, mayroong half ng Buddhism na, na, na nagtuturo or naniniwala na si Buddha is ang God. So in a yeah. way, they, they fit into that uh, mm-hmm. description. So let's say yung Amin, would you say it's uh, not a religion because of the definition? So maybe. Pero if you, let's say, yung definition ba ng religion is... Uh, Uh, pertains more on uh, let's say values yeah. and how how uh, different factors such as culture such as tradition that are incorporated into this particular value uh, can be uh, explained by a certain individual let's say Christianity si Jesus di ba? Uh, a lot of people are saying that si Jesus ang pinaka Uh, founder ng Christianity. Ano ba? Yeah. Siya ba ang founder? They, yeah, some some siya, people diba? would say that, yeah. Yeah, pero like, of course, a, a lot of the a lot of the uh, values that are being learned like in the Bible, marami dyan like pre-Christ. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, we, uh, exactly. we can't really say na yung mga titulo sa Christianity are just uh, from Christ himself. And I think that's the same with the uh, Buddhism, it's more on like a collection of the different values. So th- these values are put together to create this large set of uh, principles that yeah. a certain believer or follower would apply. Yeah. Um, nabanggit mo kanina, you are also very interested in religion, different religions. So <laughs> is there any particular religion Um, kahit isa or kahit ilan na gusto mo like na, na you, you think ang pinaka interesting for you as a Buddhist like from perspect the perspective of an outsider looking in is there any religion na sa tingin mo ay parang interesting siya pag-aralan not necessarily magko-convert ka to it right is there anyone um, you can I w- name I would say Judaism, Judaism because parang same progenitor kasi ng Islam and ng I'm not sure if it's correct pero 
what what I know is usually Islam and uh, Christianity uh, are like uh, descendants or yeah. of uh, Judaism. Mm. Like, mas parang nag branch out lang sila. Kaya kaya ang Islam and Christianity maraming similarities. Eh. Yeah, exactly. Kaya usually misin sabi nila, di ba yung parang a lot of Filipinos think na, oy Islam at ang mga Kristiano, ang mga Muslim at mga Kristiano, parehas lang yun ang dinala sila, magkaiba lang pangalan. Usually, yeah. yun yung mga sinasabi ng mga yeah. Pilipino eh. So, and I believe na may right doon kasi nga, the, progen- the progenitor of do- both of those is uh, uh, Judaism. And yeah. I think na pwede na, um, ano kaya yung mga divergence from ano, ng, ng Christianity at ng Islam to Judaism. Ano yun, usually yun parang pinaka-interesting para sa akin. So you think, for you, the most interesting one to study, kung mabibigyan ka ng chance, is Judaism? Yeah. Just, just to clarify, no, um, yes. do you or do you not believe in God? How will you answer that question mm. pag may nagtanong sa'yo? Lumapit sa'yo, ah, Buddhist ka. No, how, how do you think about God? Is there a God? Or may God ba? Or does it matter? Uh, that's an inter- interesting question. And ever since bata ko, lagi ko na rin yan tanong. Like, uh, paano ba? Like, like on, a, on a Buddhist perspective, uh, ano ba yung thinking nat ng mga Buddhist when it comes to creation? Paano ba tayo nagkaroon ng, uh, ng uh, what we have now today? Paano nagka-life? Ganun. Siyempre, mm. may mga things na gusto kong malaman. And in a sense, uh, I don't think uh, Buddha knows the answer back then. Yeah. Or rather, I also don't think that he, he thought of that as an oppressing uh, question. Because if you think about it, like uh, sa, Bud- sa Buddhism, kasi, what it, what's important is what you do right now. Usually, a general concept of Buddhism is that the cycle of life and death, diba? Yeah. You, uh, you, we, we are, uh, we are born and then we will eventually die and we, then we will eventually be reborn again. So, the thing is, what's important is what are you gonna do right now with your life? Yeah. And I think si Buddha, um, maaaring hindi niya talaga alam yung sagot pero maaaring sa tingin niya, hindi na siya mahalagang sag- sagutin. Yeah. And we should uh, give our efforts to something that, that will actually help uh, yung mga tao, mga believers. Parang or, we should focus at, our... Kahit ibang tao. Uh, our, parang we should resources, focus our, our resources, our time, our discussion yeah, yeah. sa bagay na mas makakatulong. Yeah. To the it's general not, uh, community. Yeah. So it's not really about like dodging the question, but saying na uh, it's beyond... Um, yung concerns ng Buddhism. Yes. Sa, Bud- sa mga Buddhist, ang mahalaga is uh, yourself. So you're doing good so that in your next life, mas maganda yung bu- uh, buhay mo. Yun yung uh, paniniwala ng mga Buddhist. And a lot of the things, like for example, bakit may inequality? Like, bakit may mayaman, may mahirap, may yeah. ganun? So yung thinking ng ibang tao, yan, yan kasi yung parang karma mo mm-hmm. na from your previous you life from the past. Yeah. So, what ka mahirap ngayon? Kasi you did gain a lot of bad karma from the past. So, baka siya mayaman. So, oh, you did gain a... Uh, you did gain, uh, let's say, yung... You did good back then. So, kung anong gagawin mo yun, yun yung maging uh, mangyayari sa'yo for the ano, next life. Pero in our particular set of Buddhism, pinip, pinip, uh, titish sa amin na even right now, pwede ka maging happy. Even right now, pwede ka maging successful. You don't need na gumawa ng buti then wait for the next lifetime yeah. to to be happy. To reap. And I think, uh, uh, yung benefits ng pagdadasal. pagdadasal. Yeah. And I think, yun, parang, yun ang siguro yung parang pinaka nakaka-attract for me sa particular religion ko. Is that, yun nga, pwede kang maging happy right now, pwede kang maging successful right now. Mahirap ka man, may way ka para naging uh, mapabuti yung kalagayan mo. Yan. Ayan, exactly. These are the kinds, for me, yeah, personally, these are the thoughts or ideas that 
I really like to listen to when or read about pag nagahanap nag nag-aaral ako ng na, nag-research ako about a certain religion. It sounds very rational kasi it sounds very appealing lalo na yes. na-apply mo siya sa buhay in actuality. Uh-huh. Wala ka bang um, narinig na someone from your sect of Buddhism yes. na naniniwala sa Diyos or is it w- would you say kuno wala kang nakilalang um person or wala kang narinig na person from your own sect of Buddhism na naniniwala sa Diyos? No and is it counterintuitive? Yeah. Is it um ano ba how do I mean term doon? Is it illogical? Would you say? Well, not really because it, it is quite possible na I'm not saying that it is what's true. I mean, mm. I'm not saying that there are really other people or other mm. Buddhists who who think that hindi na tatara namin is God. I mean, it's it's a possibility. Maybe they think it's a God though hindi yun tinuturo. So, okay. maaring, maaring nag, nalito sila oh. parang ganun. I think it's a possibility. So, yun. Sasabihin mo lang na it's possible. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, when it comes it to is. concerns about um, kumari, how the universe began. Diba? Yes. Uh, as a Buddhist, you you would say na mm, not necessarily my concern. Is that correct? If I would to I, I would be to be answering it in the sense of uh what are what is the Buddhist perspective in this? Yes, uh, that will be the answer. Pero like, ako personally as a, as a scientist, in, right? interested interested in ako, de ba? Oh, yeah, maybe yeah. it's the Big Bang, de ba? And daming theories. Maybe it's the Big Crunch. So in a way, de ba? Uh, kung titignan mo like uh, if you're a believer paano mo ipapasok uh, with that yung mga mga beliefs mo eh parang ang hirap siya i-reconcile siya i-reconcile with uh, with science in a way kasi mm. pag science talaga parang hard facts talaga parang may com- com- computations formulas predictions mm. and in a way sa religion usually kapag sinabing faith talaga belief without evidence eh. kapag yeah. sinabing faith eh. which is sometimes very ano very scary kapag uh, you're believing without evidence and may mga magagawa ang mga tao na masama yeah mga, it can be misleading yun. pero the way hmm. i see it based sa conversation natin saka sa sa personal research ko parang um Wala namang, I don't think there's anything illogical about being a Buddhist. Tapos being, at the very least, curious about how the yes. universe began. Hindi naman siya yung tipo na it's a fallacy or hindi siya, hindi siya illogical. Kasi ayun nga, you can always be a Buddhist and a scientist. For instance, yeah. no, exactly, it's, diba? Yeah, it's, it's not a sin to be yeah. interested in those stuff. Pero anyway, meron bang konsepto ng sin, S-I-N, sa, sa Buddhism or... Well, you know, well, we have to define sin muna. Is it something mm. na if you sin, you will be you will be punished by someone from like outside, like so an supernatural entity? No. We will say sin in the sense na bad the karma. Same, yeah. Okay. No, yes, it is bad karma because uh, we believe that there's like everyone has a karmic chamber mm-hmm. where you you have this good and bad karma. And then, and then when you when you pray, you start to release those types of uh, karma. So both good and bad. So you do gain benefits, but of course you do gain problems as well. So what so what happens is that it depends on what you will do right now. Uh, so if you're, you're gonna do good, uh, if you're, you're gonna do good, so mar ma maybe bigyan ka ng good karma sa buhay mo. Yeah. And when you do bad, it's actually bad karma. And of course, uh, it's true that if you're praying, it doesn't mean you're not gonna have problems. So the thing is, the true is by praying, you will have the wisdom mm-hmm. and the knowledge on how to uh, solve your problems. Mm-hmm. It's like it's not it's not gonna magically be solved. Like you, you don't pray that, please. Uh, Please, magka, uh, magka pera na po ako. Yeah. And please. It's more like, uh, w- ay, parang, nalala ka, uh, 
within yourself kasi nitutulok sa Buddha nature nasa loob natin nasa loob natin eh. And then we have this parang altar called the Gohon Zone mm-hmm. which uh, is said to be a mirror. So basically you're you're praying to a mirror to yourself and and you're you're basically telling yourself to uh, empower yourself and and lumabas yung parang bula nature mo mm-hmm. and ikaw mismo makakasolve ng yung problem. So ayun, like um, the way I understand it sa sekmo ng Buddhism, yung idea ng yes. prayer is like a way yes. to actualize yourself. Not It's not necessarily yes. asking for a favor from someone greater than you. Tama ba? Yes. Yes. So, parang ikaw yung powerful parang ganun. Uh, so how do you how do you do that? Is it is it okay? Is it is it even okay for me to ask that question? Paano kaya nagdadasal? Like ano sinasabi niyo or what do you think about? Is there any specific steps? And then yeah, is it even okay to ask that question from you? Is it okay to share that information with us? Uh, I mean, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Uh Uh, we usually chant like uh, a Japanese phrase called mm-hmm. uh, Nam Gekyo. It's basically it, it's basically uh, what Nichiren said to be like the summary. It's kind of like a summary of the Lotus Sutra. And, and these are the important phrases that uh, you have to chant so that you can uh, bring forth your Buddha nature. Yeah. So, so We we sit like in front of the Gohan Zone, the altar, or like uh, it's like a scripture, para siyang scroll, mm-hmm. na may Japanese lettering. So para siya, of course, yun yun yun, yun ay parang copy yun ng original na sinulat ni Michiren na Gohan sa pano. Simply, ah, uh, twelve seventies, twelve fifties pa siya. So we can all have the original copy. Pero kung bago yun yung parang niyada sa lahat namin sa lahat namin yung ano 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 So they say that of course with the heart, if you have a hard problem you will have to pray a lot more. Then syempre bukod pa sa pagpe-pray mayan din kaming mga yung mga gatherings we have discussion meetings it would be nice if you would attend kasi makaka-learn ka ng mga gosho passages yun nga so yun ay matututo ka rin ng and besides chanting may matututo ng mga aral uh, both that also you yung mga discussion meetings namin, usually may mga nage-experience di bang tao. Like, for example, one person, yung family niya, nagka-COVID, ganun. Or one person, uh, uh, let's say, namatay yung asawa niya, and then how did, how did, uh, how did she survive uh, alone as a single mom towards her, uh, with her two kids, ganun. So, a lot of the, Uh, great experiences na narinig na rin ako. This is really very inspiring. Yeah. So, ayun. Gusto ko lang ma-point out, no? Ito yung mga sinasabi kong ang sarap pakinggan about a specific religion that seems very, very rational. Kasi, for, for me, it's rational kasi prayer becomes, ayun nga, as a way to actualize a person's yes. self. Hindi siya yung tipo na magdadasal ka. This is a usual joke. I don't know if you've heard of this, pero there there, 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 there are some Catholics who pray na, uh, Lord, sana manalo ako sa loto. Pero hindi naman sila tumaya in the first place. Kasi parang, yeah. <laughs> for me, di ba, parang dun siya nagkukulang eh. Like, like you're praying, yeah. pero hindi siya, walang action. So, yes, yes. so walang, walang, what are you expecting to happen? Pero, from what I'm hearing from you is, prayer becomes like, ayun nga, it's a way to actualize yourself. It yes. involves yourself. Hindi siya sinasabi na magdasal ka lang, okay na. Hindi. You, you really need to act. You really need to make it happen. And yes. ayun, that's, that's exactly why it sounds very rational for me. There were instances um, na niresearch ko to na, na there are some, some, of course not all, but there are some Buddhist yes. societies or Buddhist groups that are involved with violence in society. For instance, I'm just going to give a very 
uh, a couple of examples. So in Sri Lanka, there are like different groups of people, different ethnicities. So nagkaroon ng civil war mostly, and historians would say it's mostly caused, yung civil war sa Sri Lanka from 1983 to 2009 was caused by conflicts between two groups of people, yung a certain group of Hindus called the Tamil Hindus and um, Buddhist nationalists. So aside from that, when we look at World War II, no, um, it, ang aggressive na country during World War II sa Asia was Japan. But that at that time, um, yes. Buddhism was a very prevalent religion in, in, Japan. in Japan. So may lumalabas ngayon na some Buddhist uh, groups, some Buddhist institutions in Japan were involved in the nationalistic and uh, as we would say, yung mga mistakes na nangyari during World War II. So, um, there were some instances that there are Buddhists involved in violence. So, in relation to that, ano sa tingin mo yung reason? Bakit may mga gantong Buddhist groups or individuals na nai-involve sa violence? Ano sa tingin mo? From your, from your perspective, ano yung dahilan? Or what could have happened there? Um... For me, yeah, like uh, when we are to judge a religion, parang kini kami meron tayong multiple ways or multiple levels na pwede natin siyang i-judge. Mm-hmm. First is yung scripture. Ano ba yung sinasabi sa scripture? Does it teach peace? Does it teach that discrimination? Does it teach na you have to exclude a certain group of individuals, whether based on gender, based on their skin color? The second one is... Uh, yung mga preachers, mga monks or priests, ano ba yung sinasabi nila? Usually sila yung uh, literally sila yung nagta-translate ng tinuturo ng uh, yung ng holy book nila. And then, and of course, dahil nga marami nang marami nang nagpa-pass down from from the original to the present one, kung ano tinuturo nila will have a large effect on on the next uh, next level which is how uh, the Buddhists act. So, if I kita natin, yung mga Buddhists ba na yan ay uh, they're acting na uh, discriminatory, in a way, we can judge a religion, right? Uh, we can judge the religion, baka, ay, baka ganti yung turo ng Buddhism. Yeah. Um, regarding to yung civil war and the issue with that, I think we can kind of relate it to like, uh, I mean, 9-11 suicide bombers. Mm-hmm. So, so, I believe some of us may think na they are entirely motivated by religion. But personally, pini ka meron din siyang ibang mga factors eh. Yeah. Like, for example, war between the West and the Muslim world, di ba? Or like, maybe uh, the Muslims think of that as a... I mean, b- maybe the Muslims retaliated from like the invasion of Iraq or something. Yeah. Basically, we can't really pinpoint uh, religion itself as the issue, when there are certainly a lot of factors na mag- mag-take in place. Yeah. Like, possible rin na, like, the religious leaders, like, uh, Buddhist leaders in Sri Lanka, right? Or Myanmar? Sri Lanka? Uh, uh, yeah. But then, I'm, I'm not sure kung may civil war sa Myanmar. Pero yung binigay ko example yeah. kayo na was Sri Lanka, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Sri Lanka. And then, possible na sila mismo, yung religious leaders ay they had like a, a bias, bias towards a certain faction in the government. Or, so maybe that certain faction in the government is trying to uh, promote this kind of uh, extremism. Hmm. Well, I, I'm, not, I'm not really ex, uh, entirely sure if I should use the term extremism because hmm. because extremism basically... You're, use, you're using uh, yung what is written in your scripture para makapag-discriminate uh, ng ibang tao. Which yeah. in the case, at least in Nichiren Buddhism, we don't really have any kind of uh, part in our uh, uh, learnings or activities na nagtuturo kami na we are superior to other people, we are yeah. superior. In fact, parang tituro nga eh, we should respect all uh, human beings kasi lahat tayo may potential to be a Buddha. Yeah, of course. Lahat tayo may potential para uh, uh, ma- 
mapalabas yung Buddha nature. Yeah. And and actually we are using that para na to propagate our own religion. So we are since uh, we are since we see that nga na mention ng potential, we are kind of like uh, introducing them to the religion and saying that oh maybe this is the one for you and then maybe maybe if you have problems and um and you don't think that uh i mean maybe like a change of scenery can be better for you so you can try this so uh, you don't you don't have to have your altar like yung sabi namin, or yung parang scroll you don't have to have your mga books or religious texts what you need to just do is just chant and then have a belief that uh, your problems will be solved if you do. Like, not magically so, but you will have the wisdom, you have the knowledge in order to solve your problems. Yeah. So, ayun, um, would you go as far as to say na there are possible na wala naman talagang kinalaman ng Buddhism sa instances na examples, the examples na binigay ko. Is it that's that is within the realm of possibility, diba? Yes. I, I I think it is in the realm of possibility, yeah. But as I said a while ago then, diba kapag uh meno kam parang dogmatic belief or mm-hmm. or parang pernicious belief on on something like let's say let's say Nazism mm-hmm. or I don't know, maybe Marxism, like if you have a if you have, if have a like a dogmatic belief in Marxism, and then you use that belief to suppress other people, then don't kaba ka karon ng problema. Yeah. And it is also quite possible that these people uh, are using uh, religion to suppress uh, other sects of uh, the community, other mm. parts of the community. Um, which is sad because parang wala paint yung religion as a non uh non peaceful religion yeah actually in a way parang mahirap ma- mahirap ng i-paint na violent ang ano eh, ang religion ang buddhist kasi parang abstract siya eh. yeah. we can we, we can't really say na we are doing this kind of violence because our god told us to di ba yeah. we can't really say that parang wala namang tinuturo na ito yung tamang way so yung mga hindi sumusunod kay yung mga heretics yeah. yung, yung, Hindi, hindi nag-apply yung ganong logic sa Oo, kasi uh, parang, Buddhists. Oo. Yeah. Ah, ah, hindi ko hindi ko yun naisip before like ngayon ko lang yun naisip na the way the way you said it. Kasi um i-relate ko na sa Philo no. May tinatawag na divine command theory. Have you heard of it? Yes. So so yung divine command theory is the idea na ang kabutihan ay manggagaling lang sa mabuting source. Kung walang mabuting mm-hmm. source, kung walang Dios, hindi pwedeng magkaroon ng kabutihan. Pero mm-hmm. yung divine command theory, hindi siya mag apply sa Buddhism as a religion. Yes. Kasi nga, be- beyond the scope nga yung, yung tawag na source, quote-unquote, yung yes. So, in Buddhism, it will definitely be possible na a person can be good kahit hindi siya naniniwala sa Diyos. Kasi, kasi that's how the religion is. That's how uh, the belief is compared to other um, yes. religion, so napag-usapan namin kanina, yung Abrahamic religion, yung Judaism, Christianity, Islam, all of these, yung, yung setup nila ng morality ay um, uh, divine command theory. You know, iba-iba lang, yes. iba-iba lang ng, ng Diyos na pinamalaan, or maybe isa lang ng Diyos, iba-ibang pangalan. But the point yes. is, mm-hmm. ang kabutihan ay manggagaling dun. So kung wala yun, walang kabutihan. But that does not apply with Buddhism. It's mm-hmm. another reason why I, I keep saying na it's, it's Buddhism is a a very rational uh, religion the way I see it, no? Yes. <laughs> Kanina pa nag-usapan natin society as a whole. We can look at now, now we can look at the Philippine society. And and daming issues sa Pilipinas ngayon, no? A, a lot of killings, a lot of um, fake news propagating corruption in the government. Is there any specific Buddhist belief or idea nasa tingin mo ay makakatulong i-solve or ma-improve yung mga problema ng Pilipinas? Is there a, spe- a specific... Um, kung nga, you get the chance to talk to the entire Philippine population ngayon. Tapos you you get the chance to briefly explain kung ano yung beliefs mo sa Buddhist. Is there a specific idea or belief nasa tingin mo ay makakatulong sa mga problema ito? 
Um, I would say yung mga uh, yung outlook na mga tao towards uh, uh, past criminals. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's say usually di ba kapag ngayon pag kanyang yung drug addict, parang sabi natin ay aniyan uh, masamang partiyan ng lipunan, yeah. dapat pinapakulong, pindiyan death penalty, mga ganyan. Though, in a way, sa, sa Buddhism, as I mentioned earlier, mayroon tayong mga na Buddha nature in everyone. Yeah. So, if we are able to bring forth yung, yung Buddha nature ng tao na yun, maybe we can transform that person from, from kung ano siya ngayon into something better in, in the future. And, in a way, pag ganun ang thinking natin, hindi natin may isip lagi na na wala nang pag-asa yung mga taong mm. to. May wala nang pag-asa ng mabago yung kanilang thinking, wala nang pag-asa na na sila maging better part of society. Also, kung when it comes to killing, uh, and another way is that yung kunya sa sa ano ngayon, sa NPA, issue with NPA, UP. Diba? Yeah. If you think about if you think about it, uh, people are really mad at NPA dahil they are perceived as yun ang gugulo, uh, rebels lang talaga sila without actually thinking ano ba yung parang pinaglalaban nila. Yeah. So I think when, as a Buddhist, parang when you look at it na, na parang you have to think and and uh, think kung ano yung bang si same at yung gagawin mo if and if you're doing that it means na inaallow mo rin yung ibang tao na makapagsalita at makapaggawa ng gusto ng gagawin nila bago ka bago mo sila i-judge uh, so i think uh, if if pwede nating magawa yan like everybody can do that i think everybody would be open to dialogue Yeah. Everybody would be open to uh, reconciliation. Uh, wala yung mga problems. Ganun. I, I think I think usually ganun yung problema ng society. Especially kapag may perceive na magkalaban. Liberals, uh, red, ganun. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I agree, no? Pero yung sinabi mo kanina about the idea of transformation. Someone um, who na hindi nag introspect into someone who can be like... Um, Buddha or to someone na na bring out niya yung inner Buddha niya. Um, it's a process, right? Yes. It's a it's a personal process, you would say. Yes. Oh, kasi mm-hmm. for instance, iba yung iba yung um, drug addict na napilitan um ma- ma-involve sa drugs sa isang um senador na nagnakaw, tapos pinatawad, tapos pinalaya without actually trying to change, di ba? Yeah, definitely like Uh, uh, respecting everyone's potential doesn't mean we are not bound by the loss of the of man, yeah. loss of man. Exactly. Of course, if you have to, uh, you have to pay the price, the consequences. Yeah. So be- before before we end, um, um, you think about the the people listening to our conversation right now. Is there any specific Buddhist idea or belief na gusto mo iwan sa mga naikinig sa atin? Uh, uh, disclaimer lang po sa mga mananood uh, first of all hindi, uh, hindi po ako pumunta po dito para mag uh, mag mag preach ganun hindi naman hindi po po I don't po. think we saw uh, like, preach naman niya yeah. uh, pero also if ever uh, if ever may mga nasabi man ako na offensive towards other religion please do tell me or like add nyo sa comment section okay, para sige, tell, mababa, tell mababasa ko yan <laughs> Yeah. Kumain naman ako. Kasi I'm very much willing to be correct be corrected yeah. towards my views kasi for me yun talaga yung pinaka aim dapat natin eh. Yeah. We're constantly uh, absorbing all the information, constantly uh, uh, looking at other people's points of view then para magkaroon tayo ng general consensus on what to do with our society. Yeah. So, ang masasabi ko lang po is uh Let us do. Uh, let, let us look uh, at ourselves and, and what we are doing uh, right now, not what we are doing like in the past, uh, or not what we are uh, gonna be in the future. Because for me, 
yung in present ang pinakamalaga kasi what we do in the present is also what we're going gonna will also result into what uh, will happen to us in the future whether you believe we're going to heaven or whether you're, you believe you're gonna be reincarnated whether maybe you believe that you become a bird someday or maybe you're gonna be part of the ocean it doesn't matter ang pinakamalaga is what you're gonna do right now what matters is that yeah uh, you're, you're doing it for the sake of everyone's happiness not just your own of course of course important thing sarili mo pero pinakamalaga is you're doing it uh, for everyone's happiness for uplifting society and of course for aiming everyone's uh, peace you know okay. so thank you very much for all of your insightful uh, answers and the conversation thank you very much for inviting me then and dami kong natutunan and i'm still very much convinced that buddhism is one of the most rational um, belief systems <laughs> that i have encountered so thank you ricky at, uh, thank you for inviting me yeah okay and ko na dun hindi <laughs> 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 mo rin mag-end actually okay stop ko na yung recording <laughs>